Cheers, everyone. This is the Bear here. We're back at Universal City Walk because it's time to pregame. At NBC Grill, NBC Sports Grill. Yes, this place is one of the last stops you get before you go inside the park. And it's a perfect place to pregame for Halloween Horror Nights. We're gonna go and grab a bite to eat, have a couple drinks. Be sure to enjoy the food and save the animals. You heard the girl. Four and a half out of five hops. Super tasty. So here we have the shimé, shimá. This is giving me South Park vibes. Uh, don't we don't get shimé that regularly around the theme park? It's only a few places. I know here. I know that we regularly are able to get it at like Jico, Animal Kingdom Lodge, or Disney World. Don't think it runs into it very often here at Universal, which is nice. All glass and dark, unlike me. Mm. Again, if you put Belgian on anything, I will drink it. I will. Four to five bars. Nice and smooth, got some complexity to it. I like it. Here we have the Crooked Can O oh Baby, which is their king cake flavored uh, Doppen, Doppen Stock, Doppen Hopple. Long name, part of the D. Either way, King Tag favorite beer was giving me Nola vibes. Uh, we've been doing a lot of odd fellows, sort of uh, houses and Halloween Horror Nights, and the Darkest Steel gives me Nola vibes, so we're craving a Nola flavored beer. So, what better than King Tag? Something sweet? I'm not usually a sweet beer person, but it's unconfirmed vegan, so none for the princess. Uh, more for me. It does sort of taste like cake. It's very light, so it's not super sweet. It still tastes like a beer. It tastes those hops, but like a hint of like that, like sweet icing flavor. It's interesting. I don't know if I'd order it again though. Three and a half out of five points. This corn has definitely got the juice. Vegan, fire grilled. I was expecting like kernels, not a whole one. But I guess we're back in Mardi Gras. There's a sweet, soft, tasty corn. I love that. Russ is a share with Bear, but probably gonna be fighting over it. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five corns. It's a really tasty corn. It's nice to know that NBC Grill, Sports Grill, takes their grilling so seriously. They fire grill most of the food right here in the center of the restaurant, including the corn. Pull with the like husk as a handle. Look at that char. I'm gonna cut char like that in an oven. Only with that flame grill. And in flame, they do. The char bits are the best. We were definitely gonna fight over this. That taste is in my sweet, the smokiness. I wish it came shaved, but on the ear, I probably could have just ordered like one of these as a snack. Give me corn in the park. I'll eat corn. Corn on the cob. Corn on the stick. It's so easy and cheap. Four out of five points. We have this beautiful burger. Got barbecue sauce on the side, but I'm probably gonna douse it because the amount of jack fruit on this is so small. And look at how burnt my burger is. Goodness gracious. And this side has nothing on it, so no sauce. That's, that's why they gave me the barbecue, because it's very low on the sauce. Let's try it. I've been, the reason why we came here was specifically for this burger. I wanted it. I don't usually want Beyond Burgers very often. I get sick of them because I eat them so often at the parks for science. That bite was like no jackfruit at all. But I really love how charred the Beyond is. I thought it would like taste burnt or whatever. But it actually tastes really good. It helps with the flavor because it does have a little bit of a frozen taste to it. 
similar to what I taste when I go to Finnegan's, but not as bad because of the charm. So there's that. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five. Beyond Burgers, usually I would say this burger ranks higher. This one isn't as good, but if you are in the mood for a Beyond Burger at Universal, I recommend this one because there aren't very many places you can get burgers with jackfruit on them, and jackfruit is top tier food. Their little serving dishes are so adorable. It's interesting to me that this uh, burger is so burnt, uh, or at least charred on the top, because usually the problem with Beyond Burgers is that they don't cook them long enough. Uh, you get like an undercooked Beyond, and trust me, undercooked Beyond is not the way. They do not taste great. I'm gonna go in here from the side. I'm, hopefully, I'm gonna get a bite of jackfruit in there somewhere. Mm. I would agree with the Princess. The char definitely does sell like the burger aspect. It'll give you the different flavor and texture than you get up just a plain Beyond. The cheese is good. The jackfruit I was able to do a little. It's like the piece they resist on. It's like a top hat on a nice suit. I wish they added jackfruit and more things, both on burgers and without. The jackfruit is a very versatile fruit. I guess it's a fruit, yeah. Uh, it needs to be featured in more dishes. It's so easy to prepare. I'm shocked that more places don't do it. This is still one of the best uh, plant-based burgers you can get on Universal Property. I would give this four out of five bucks. Here we have the tater tots. I usually, it usually comes with fries or tots. I usually get fries, but I decided to try the tots for once. By themselves, they're a little like half barrel. I like that. They have a little bit of an onion taste to them, I think. It's because of the shared oil. Maybe the oil needs to be changed. It's not terrible. They're not the best tots that I've had. I would give them a two out of five tots. This is not making my day the way that I wanted to. I've been looking forward to this meal so much and this is just not hitting it. The biggest reason that our channel exists in the first place is that one of the most heartbreaking things, food-wise anyway, uh, is getting food or paying for food that does not buy, that does not sit right. Spending the money is one thing, you spend money for a lot of things, but spending money on something that you plan to enjoy and then you don't enjoy it is legitimately heartbreaking, which is why we're here to help you guys decide on your own what you're doing you don't like. A lot of opinion-based, some of it's feeling-based, but try to give you the most information possible as your number one choice in food infotainment on what you can buy and eat. Potato barrels are hard to mess up. They're, oh, they smell like onions. That is weird. Be the first place to ever mess these up. And they legitimately taste like onion rings without the onion. Like my mouth is like 80% onion right now. The shared fryers will cause things like that. Um, some people, they don't care. Other people, especially if you don't like onion, would hate this. See the barbecue sauce helps in. Like barbecued onion. Two out of five claws. They're a little ruined. Smidge. Here I'm NBC Roll, it specializes in burgers and ribs and things like that. I'm getting wings. Now the wings are fire grilled. They do two styles here, traditional and then the uh, fried and then the fire grilled. I love fire grilled wings wherever I can get them. I prefer my wings grilled over fried. I got the sweet and uh, sweet and spicy bourbon. Now they give you ranch. I know a lot of people like to dip their ranch. I'm only dipping my wings in ranch if I got buffalo. No other flavor of a wing that I'm getting is getting dipped in ranch. That flavor, not the flavor of the wings, it doesn't make any sense to me. But I guess I can use it for the salad. As for the wing, nicely colored, you got some green onions on there. The bourbon flavor is very light. I wouldn't call that sweet nor spicy. It's sort of like the medium chicken savory. They're cooked well. It's a decent amount. We I hate like the uh, post panini world where they don't give you the count of wings anymore. It's just an order of wings and obviously the price for wings has gone through the roof in most cases. It doesn't make them worth it, but every once in a while I get a craving for wings. I've yet to find the best wings on Universal Property. One day maybe somebody can give them to me. These are just 
Okay. Three out of five. Sometimes food misses the mark. And we usually love this place. Yeah. Our server was terrible. Our food was kind of meh. It was just a meh experience when we were expecting something better. It feels like as much as we don't want it to that Bob Marley is really the one place here that never misses for us. I agree. Bob Marley's the best. Definitely make that your pre Halloween Horror Nights stop. If you guys have a preferred stop before you go to Halloween Horror Nights, be that on property or not, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see us do, of course, that's always in a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you don't comment, Bear might yeet himself into Universal. You heard the girl. <laughs>